I was uh, enamoured with the idea of it being a Korean thing and like a fresh Saturday night TV format and not just the same stale reality stroke, you know, um, talent show thing. It was just something new. Yeah. And uh, I was, if I was ever going to do something like that, it would be, you know, the, the, ver the, the Maiden series of it. So tell us about the, the costume. So you didn't yeah. get to choose your costume, did you? Not, not really. I mean, they, they said, um, I had the first meeting, they said, uh, can you have a think about what you'd like to dress up as? And I thought peacock because, you know, peacock, yeah. obvious really. But that might have been a bit too on the nose. And the chameleon stuff, um, when they suggested it and they described how the, how the costume would work, I just had to... I had to be part of that, and it had to be part of me. It's actually had a lot of admirers, not only on the show, but um, today on social media, especially by the ladies. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's a, it can only be a good thing. You know, the idea of taking part in a thing like that is to get some much needed indecent exposure. <laughs> um, for the, uh, because we've got a single out this week, you know, um, we, yeah. we released uh, In Another Life from the Easter is Cancelled album. And we've got a new video with Abby Clancy and everything. And I think there's a danger that if, we ha if I hadn't, you know, it's very lucky that I was, did this show because if I hadn't been exposed on that day in that way, then maybe, maybe this whole Abby Clancy mega video thing would have passed unnoticed. Well, there you go. I mean, the guesses you know, were is, way off. Is always good, you know. yeah. <laughs> so at the point where they said you have to remove the mask and everyone's chanting, how are you feeling in there? Um... Well, the, my mate, the, all, was going, all that was going through my mind is like, oh dear, I hadn't anticipated going out in this moment. I washed my hair, tied it up, put it in a baraclava, then put a um, paper mache helmet on the top of it, and I walked around in a sweaty, brightly lit uh, television studio for hours, and I sang two songs. Um, it's going to look rubbish. <laughs> um, so it was like, a, <laughs> that was the only thing that I cared about, because I'm so vain. Um, I wasn't concerned about, you know, leaving the show or anything. I feel like my work there was done. And in fact, as it turns out, the timing couldn't have been better for us. You know, as a band, it couldn't have been better. Yeah. Um, and I'd had my fun and I was over it. <laughs> so, yeah. so you have absolutely no idea, do you, who the other singers are? But how no. does that work with rehearsals and the performances? How do you hide from the other people? Um, you don't... You don't um, witness anybody else's rehearsal stroke performance. You don't stay in the same hotel as them. Hotels all over London were occupied by the various uh, participants and contestants and nobody ever saw each other. I was just saying earlier, I, saw, I, did see, um, I did see one contestant who was also wearing like a, a welding mask to conceal facial appearance, hoodie, gloves. You just got no, you don't see any skin, hair, teeth, eyes. You certainly don't see any internal organs, <laughs> and it's um, you've got no idea who anybody is, you know. So, did you tell anyone that you were doing it? Any family members? Any friends? No, I, I couldn't tell anybody. The main reason being, like, I, I signed a, a, a non-disclosure agreement that was very, very binding. I wasn't even allowed to say the name of the um, show in an email, um, and I, you know, there's there's a, an additional. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to spoil it for anybody, so I just played the game. I did what I was asked to do, and I kept the secret. So your mum, for example, wasn't watching on Saturday night when you were, uh, you were unveiled? She, she might have watched the second one, but she didn't see the first one. Um, and uh, she, I think um, one of my friends went and told her, oh, I think Justin might be doing this. And she took one look at it and said, yeah, of course that's Justin. But she <laughs> never spoke to me about it um, until afterwards. So... Um, I don't think she wanted, uh, didn't want me to know that she knew. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I really loved uh, was your version at the end of the show of Cindy Lauper's True Colours. In fact, we're going to hear just a little bit of that now. So hopefully your mum is actually watching. Wow. See, that sounds really, really lovely, and I think it shows a different side of you as well. It's really hard. What do we do? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> it's just singing. Singing is what I do, isn't it? 
I know. I just don't, maybe I just didn't expect you to sing a sing, Cindy yeah, Lauper I mean, song, but it was really like, lovely. Um, no, it's just a that's a really great song, isn't it? And yeah, um, it's a pleasure to sing really great songs. And um, it's part of the reason why I was kind of relieved to to not have to do any more of it because the next rounds I probably would have ended up doing something more contemporary, maybe something a bit more dancey, or some stuff that I'm just not into really. Um, so I was I was happy with. Uh, I was happy to go out, really. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Something that you missed, though, um, because of doing the show, it was a rather important event, wasn't it? Mm. You mean my my friend, uh, yeah. my friend Ian's uh, wedding? Yeah. I was supposed to be the best man as well. Well, exactly. Is is he okay <sighs> with that? I'm a bad guy. <laughs> he's he's forgiven me. He forgave me straight away because he he understood how important it was and um, was really supportive and. Uh, I wasn't allowed to tell him exactly what I was doing, but uh, I gave him enough hints. Yeah. And um, he was just brilliant about it, as he is with everything. That's what friends are for. Yeah, he, well, he sounds like a very good one. Uh, do you think that the Masked Singer can realistically keep its secrets right up until the final with everything that goes on uh, in today's world of sort of social media? I think that because of the spirit of the program, you know, it's not, it's not that much of a competitive environment. Um, it's a bit of fun, you know, and I think that there, there are people who have the, you know, I'm sure there's, uh, you know, I'm sure somebody has the means to find a list of all the competitors, you know, if you really, really look, you'll be, you'll be able to work it out. But I don't think anybody's going to do that, because who's going to take that information and then spoil the fun for everybody? You know, some kind of television program Scrooge yeah. type character. Or the Grinch, the Grinch who stole the Masked Singer. <laughs> Actually, that would be a good outfit. The hmm. Grinch, yeah. Hmm. Fantastic. Justin, it's been really lovely talking to you. Good luck with you the too. single. And uh, I, well, I look forward to seeing what you pop up in next. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed it'll be something worthwhile. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Cheers.